If you ask me what I choose for this year and the many years to come, it's quite simple. I choose love. I choose happiness. I choose to embrace the path that leads to joy and fulfillment. I choose to let go of all that may cause pain and suffering and allow myself to experience every moment as it presents itself to me. I choose the experience that is mine without trying to control the outcome. I choose to surrender, to surrender to the will of my creator so that his will be done in my life. I choose to be gentle with myself with my physical and mental well-being, to respect my body and feed my mind, to treat them lovingly, like the wonderful tools that they are, given to me to experience this wonderful physical reality. So what more could I choose? Because even in this moment, I choose to soften my heart, even when the world dares for it to be hard, even when experiences leave me broken and sad, I choose to recognize that my time here is special, that I must not squander it. My journey here is so vital. So excuse me when I avoid you and your trivial matters, matters that don't serve my highest good or intentions nor seek to promote my spiritual growth and protection. I choose the energy and the vibration that will set me aglow, that would reignite that spark of truth in me, that which I carry deep within, of which the darkness may not touch, stain or tamper with. Yes, unapologetically defiant, yet very gentle by nature. I choose new connections, new relationships, new passions, the ones that will light up my soul in joyful activity. I choose peace of mind, one that's laced with the power of silence, to hold my tongue until it is ready, for my ears will always hear it first, what my lips may decide to utter. That I may not use my tongue to damage my own eardrums. Therefore, I shall only speak what I know, for I know what I speak. I choose love. The love that is not imagined in the movies and the TV shows, but a love that serves to benefit the one it is directed to. I choose to direct it first to myself. For in learning to love myself, I thereby extend that love to others. And in loving others, I in turn love myself ever more. I choose not to pander to what pleases others nor to pretend to be what I'm not for your amusement and pleasure. No, I will not dress like a tramp and call it fashion. I may have done that when I was a caterpillar, <laughs> but now the butterfly has arrived. Society does not call my shot. I now choose to play my own sport. I choose confidence one that runs through the core of my being. Because I have faith, I have trust, I have the conviction in a greater power, the power that creates worlds. And I choose to remind myself that it is in this power that I stand and this light that bathes me I must not forget the microcosmic expression of who I am and the infinite vastness of my being as I connect myself with this light. I am more than meets the eye. 
I choose to be more than your eyes can see. For it is not by accident that I am here. I chose to visit this market square in this very time, space and reality. But I tell you, no matter how beautiful the masquerades dance, no matter how long the market stays open, no matter how colorful the bright lights are, no matter how beautiful the ornaments catch my eye, <laughs> I am only a guest here. I cannot live happily ever after in a market square. Nor can I ever join the circus of clowns that I see around. No, that is not where I belong. One must still go home after the dance. To the comfort and security of one's own. To the source of all that lives and breathes. To the beginning and the closing of one cycle of life. So let the music play at the square. Yes, you might learn a tune or two. Let the masquerades dance. For you might even learn a few dance moves. But let your soul always be homebound. For nothing else matters most in life. And so if you ask me again and again, I tell you, that has to be what I choose. For I am no masquerade, nor am I a clown, to think that all these earthly pleasures count. For my own sake, I must know what I choose. And I choose the way, the truth, and the life. For as promised, that is the path that will surely lead me back home. What do you choose?